Hey everybody, uh, it's Mark, and this is day three of learning Whelan's jig. Um, I'm on a journey to try to learn uh, a jig. I don't play any jigs or reels, but I want to learn to play some of them faster, uh, or some of the faster music. I'll play a lot of the ballads. You know, for example, um, I'll play things like Sweet Hour of Prayer really slowly. <laughs> Oops, I forgot that I'm in the key. I'm in the wrong key. Anyway, you get the idea. I forgot that I was in the key of G there for a second um, instead of the key of C. So I'll play some of the things very slowly, uh, but I want to learn to play this faster. So I'm using the book by um, uh, Lori Riley and Beth Coley, The Double Strung Harp. And this is the music that I'm learning, Whelan's Jig. And you can see, oops, wrong side. You can see over here we have two... Uh, treble clefs. We're in the key of E minor. It looks like the key of, of G, but unless I'm wrong, this is written in the key of E minor. And I'm rarely wrong. <laughs> so anyway, um, you can see, oh, I want you to notice here, because again, they're in the same clef. There's a lot of notes that are shared here and also here. A lot of notes that are shared by, um, by the right and left hand. So that is nice because all I have to do now is just mirror them and um, get used to playing them right and left handed. So I've been working, this is the um, the right hand portion of it. Now I think again that's still slower than it should be, but I'm working on getting that uh, smoothed out. Then I'm working on getting the right and left hand together. So let me play just that first part that I just did there. Um. Okay, so that's that's coming along. Um, uh, what I started learning yesterday was the second phrase of the music, which it, after I get through that part, it starts to repeat again. And this is a, a different part here. The right hand goes. So again, the right hand portion of it. Okay, so um, trying to put that second part together. Now here, where I have this upper run, I have to go down here in the left hand and play some fifths. I have to play a fifth um, with my thumb on D and my um, index finger on G. Then I'm going to move up to a fifth with F and B. And then finally up to a fifth with B and E. Okay, so um, let me start over, over on that again. Here's that first fifth. All right. So that's been a little bit different um, learning to play those just singles. You know, most of what I'm used to playing in the left hand are um, arpeggiated chords or rolled chords in the left hand. So to play just um, these fifths in the left hand is different for me. Um, so let me start over at the beginning again. That's the progress I'm making. That gets me about six measures, actually seven measures in, in the beginning of the eighth measure. Uh, there are, um, let me see here, there are exactly 16 measures in part A. This is a two-part um, song, so uh, or she has it broken up into two parts anyway. So I'm halfway through the first part. It's day three. My goal is to be able to get the whole thing done smoothly and then work on... Um, 
work on speed. I also want to work on timing. So I want to go and listen to some of these jigs. I want to find Whelan's jig on, I did actually find another person on YouTube who had using this same arrangement, but she was playing it in a slow style. So I want to try to find some harp um, examples of harp music where it's played faster. I'll probably go and listen to Lori Riley's CDs and see if I can find uh, or recordings and see if I can find it there. I wanna make sure I get the timing right. If you have any tips and tricks for playing jigs, please let me know in the comments below. I'd always appreciate that. And thanks for following along with this progress as we're learning. And I hope that it's inspiring you to pick out a piece of music and start learning it yourself. Have a great day, everyone.